Look, I think privacy is absolutely critical, but I don't think it's something that we need to overly worry about, at least from our community, because I think there's always going to be brands that abuse privacy. They take advantage of data, but not really top brands. Fortune 500, Fortune 1000, household names. I've never in my life come close to seeing anybody abuse privacy, abuse data. So we need to be cognizant of it. We need to make sure that we're checking those boxes. But I don't honestly think we live in an environment where we really need to worry about it. Now, you know, focus group of one, I've never really worried about my data or my privacy. I always thought, what's the big deal? Just give it away. What, what's the worst repercussion that can happen? Nobody saw the Russians tapping into this data and influencing our elections in some way. So there are certainly examples and there are certainly marketers out there that can do that. And I think as consumers, we need to be careful with our data. But I think as professionals, it's just part and parcel. It's just, it's a building block. We have to have it, but I don't think it's something we really need to worry about too much right now. There's a strategy that works right now extraordinarily well, and it will continue to work well in 10 years, 20 years, and 100 years. Now, the actual channels, Facebook, Instagram, will they be around? I have no idea. But what it is, it's what we call full funnel storytelling. It's about understanding the journey that people go on. At some point, they need to be aware of your brand, then they need to be interested, they need to understand what you stand for, what makes you different, what makes you better. We need to convert them into customers. We need to turn them from customers into loyal customers and ultimately into brand evangelists. That requires storytelling. Some of that story telling components could be really emotional at certain parts of the journey, like dreaming about a product, and it can be really rational at the point that they make a purchase. But the beautiful part about digital is you can connect the entire journey, that entire sales funnel. Right now, using social media, Facebook, Instagram, that ecosystem, it's really easy to connect that entire funnel. In the future, I think each of those channels are going to have a role and we're going to use data to connect it. So as people go from different touch points, whether it's traditional, digital, something emerging, the whole thing is understanding that one-to-one -one relationship, telling that story. And that story is about, it's a little pedantic, but it's the right message at the right place at the right time. First of all, the most important thing is creativity. Creativity is the killer weapon. So that's not something that we can build through data, that can be supported through data, it can't be built through technology, it can be supported through technology, but creativity is the number one most important thing. The second thing is where it lives. And I think right now in the short term, it's living most effectively in social media. And I gotta admit, personally, I was a little late to waking up to this because I personally don't love social media. I poke around on it. It's cool. I use it a few minutes every day. But the truth of the matter is when you think about two things, one, three things really. One, the data that you can use to target people, not a demographic level. That's ridiculous. Age and gender is, is silly, right? This is at a psychographic and a behavioral data. How do you target people? The second thing is how do you take that story and pull them entirely, entirely through the journey? upper, middle, lower funnel metrics. So they have a different story. Reach and frequency, hitting people with the same story, the same message, the same ad, over and over and over again, those days are done, right? You wanna hit them with a key story at each step along the way. And then the third thing, and this might be the most important, is their mindset. So if I'm up on digital media, I'm up on a key app, usually I'm doing something pretty utilitarian. I'm looking for the weather, I'm looking for news, I'm looking for sports. It's hard for me to want to interact with that content because I already have a mission. But Instagram and social media, that's the new mall. People are sort of going in there, they're sort of looking to say, what's out there? Is it a new product? Is it a new piece of content? Is it something from a brand? Is it something from a friend? And you see much stronger engagements, not just with content, but actually their likelihood to buy because that's the mindset that's happening in social media right now.